Five, the Fulton County Sheriff opened the doors to his jail today to show the extremely poor conditions that he's trying to fix. As Fox 5's Morse Diggs reports, the spotlight has been on the jail since the death of a prisoner whose body was covered with bugs. On top of the Fulton Jail being way overcrowded, there are sections like this one here that they can't use or shouldn't use, and yet they had been used and part of the deplorable conditions. An inmate complains he needs to get out of the county jail to go see a judge. The sheriff, Pat Labatt, allowed the public to see inside. Every inmate, right? every detainee, and every cell. Labatt says he will look at every floor and talk to the inmates. Some continue to be curled up in doggy style plastic trays due to overcrowding. And conditions made even worse because some of the jail sections cannot be used. There's actually a leak behind the wall. We saw cell doors off hinges, water from leaks, and other things we will not put on this broadcast. One inmate told Labatt he's not been able to shower since Saturday. I came up here Saturday. We have our wind take. We took a shower. We were coming up for intake. That was it. The highly publicized death of one inmate who sustained bug bites had been housed on a different medical floor. But that death put the full coat jail and the sheriff in the spotlight. We have been, you know, telling people we need this kind of help. We're in crisis. Labat told me he believes the rank and file were afraid to go over their boss's heads to let him know how bad things had gotten. Now, he successfully persuaded Atlanta Mayor Dickens to allow him to use the downtown city jail for extra beds. But here's the problem. He has to move already short manpower from Rice Street to supervise transferred prisoners. Are you restricted somewhat because you're already on a manpower crunch here, so you can only do it in a phase? So what we've done is, and yes, we do it in them phases because right. of manpower. And the sheriff wants to make it clear he's not asking for a fancy new jail. He calls what's needed a replacement jail. You've seen these conditions here today. It explains why. From Northwest Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.